packagelog.json, all of you must have seen this file in your Node.js base project. With the release of npm 5, a new feature get, got added, uh, which is automatic generation or updation of package log file after running an npm install. So the question remains is, what is a package log file? Why is it needed? And what issue does it resolve? Well, to answer this question, you first have to understand the problems which existed prior to the package log file. We also need to have the knowledge of sem semantic versioning. If you don't know what semantic versioning is, the link to the video is coming in the i button. Go and check that. Anyways, to give a slight overview on semantic versioning, look at this image here. NPM is suggesting to upgrade to a minor version available for NPM, which is 6.14.5. Semantic versioning is basically mentioning the version in format of major.minor.patch wherein minor and patch releases does not have any breaking effect in the implementing code. Also, create and tilde notation tells NPM to look for the latest minor and patch version available respectively and install it. So let's move on now to see why package hyphen log. Since we all work in a distributed environment and to ensure the same code output in all of the developers machine, dev machines or test environments, the dependencies on which the code depends must be the same across. By dependencies, I mean here the list of npm packages we define in our package.json file. Let me go to my uh, Visual Studio. Here I have a package.json file in which I have just uh, mentioned the dependencies as uh, jQuery and the Express. Okay. So, j so right now it's having this create symbol. I'll just remove these two symbol and uh, I'll try to install it right so i'll do npm install once it does complete the installation it will also create a package log.json file which we will not see right now i'll go to node modules and uh, i'll check for uh, jquery and i'll see package.json file so i can see it has exact same version which we had specified in our package log file sorry in the package.json file okay so similarly the same uh, will be available for express as well 4.13.1 so this way by strictly hard coding your version number in package or json is not at all suggested and not at all recommended that's where cementing versioning came into the picture right so that whenever a new manner or patch version is available that should also get installed because those are non breaking changes in our code to so to apply semantic versioning we will use this create symbol right let's say i've used this uh, create symbol so right now i have this package log file available with me right and if i do npm install again if i delete this uh, let's say node modules i'll delete this and i'll have only have package.json file and package hyphen log file okay and i'll just i'll do an npm install and it has installed let me just refresh it and i'll go to node modules and i'll check uh, jquery's package.json file if I go to package.json file, I can see that it still has 3.2.1 as a version, but I have just mentioned right now that create symbol and 3.2.1, which means that the latest available version of this should get installed. But this does not happen. Why this does not happen? Because of the availability of the package hyphen log file. So what happens is whenever npm runs an npm install, it automatically creates a package hyphen log file, which will have all the list of dependencies which gets installed as part of this command and as far as package hyphen log file is existing in your application structure no matter how many times you do npm install it will always go and pick those dependencies details from that log file not from your dot json uh, not from your package or json file and that is the reason why it is always installing me 3.2.1 so the question here now is how does package hyphen log file is solving the problem so the issue was Let's say right now I have, uh, let me just delete the node modules first and we'll discuss. So let's say I have developed this code right now and I have mentioned our dependencies as jQuery as create 3.2.1 and express as 4.13.1 and I have checked it into a source control. Okay. Let's say after a few months, some or the other user wanted to contribute to my uh, project, right? And he took a pull out of it. He took a clone of the project and at that point in time, the jquery and express has some updated version available so what he'll do since i have only checked in our application code not the node modules so he will to bring the node modules back into the project and to make it work he will fire npm install as soon as he'll fire npm install it will install 
the latest version available for this jquery and express so let's say if when when i did when i checked in last i had 3.2.1 but when he is installing in his system maybe at that point in time the jquery has a version available as 3.7.1 so he will get 3.7.1 installed in his system so the first point is there is a version discrepancies between my system and his system right so although there is no breaking changes with minor and batch update but still the code output might differ so the consistency is not maintained right i am having some different version running in my system he is having some different version running in his system so to solve this very problem npm came up with a package have been lock dot json file introduction in npm 5 onwards the whole intention of bringing that lock file is to actually lock upon the dependencies whichever is used while it was being coded right so let's say if i run now npm install okay it says created a lock file as package hyphen log.json and you should commit this file why are you saying it saying that because this particular file is having the exact dependency tree the log version of it so that whenever other person will install will clone this particular project they will also get the same dependencies in their system so i'll go to package log file and i'll uh, search for uh, j query okay as you can see it has 3.5.1 which is not what we mentioned 3.2.1 right this is how package hyphen log file resolves the issue of having inconsistent versions across the team and having it checked into a source control repository is very important always make sure that you check in your package hyphen log file into the source control repository so that anybody who pulls that code in they will also get the same dependencies as you were having while developing the code so that's it for today's session if you like it please like the video and subscribe the channel